let's tell you about our latest hotline documentary. She was allegedly blackmailed into believing the only way she could access drugs for her condition was by having sex with her caregiver. Mariama Asifu lost her memory from a ghastly motor accident and was later diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Her dependence on psychotropic medications drove her into the hands of a mental health service provider who will take advantage of her. Manol Kratzing has the rest of the story. As I leave the Upper West region, I head for its eastern counterpart, some 120 miles away. In a town called Bungo, I have come to meet another mental health patient, Mariama Isifu. He's a schoolboy. He's a schoolboy. Mm. She too a trained teacher. But unlike Ernest, whose condition might have arisen because of his use of narcotics, Mariama was involved in the motor accident which almost claimed her life. As doctors married to save her, Mariama's brain suffered a major blow making her lose her memory. And that was the beginning of her own troubles. After the accident, I lost my memory. It took time before I started gaining my memory and then the headaches and sleepless nights. Sometimes I can be there throughout the day and night. I can't sleep for several days. Or weeks. <laughs> Soon, Mariama was not only battling memory loss, she was diagnosed with a bipolar disorder, making her hugely dependent on medications. Mariama's experience in going through that phase of her life exposed another troubling feature of Ghana's mental health delivery system sexual abuse. And I went on a visit to a friend at China. There I met a mental health service provider and we spoke and he agreed that I could be coming there for every month for health care until he was transferred to Bongo Hospital. I followed him there to the Bongo Hospital. There it all started. Then he started sexually harassing me. He will come and he demands sex to have sex with me. Sometimes, many at times when I go to Bongo, as I then he was there at the Bongo District Hospital. When I get there, then you tell me it's at his quarters. I should come there. It got to a point that it looked like without, it's like if I don't give in to his demands, I can't get drugs. These sexual encounters were rough and as frequent as she needed her medications. Someone entrusted with the duty of protecting her was now abusing her. All of this should not have happened to Mariama. As a female, she is entitled to the mental health care quality rights. Section 64 of the Mental Health Act details treatment of vulnerable patients like females should go. Sexual blackmail and extortion of patients by caregivers is criminal and goes against the professional code of ethics. At some point, Mariama tells me, she could not continue giving in to the demands of the service provider, so she quit. I can get so depressed as a death. I can get so depressed that to the extent of me even getting up to brush my teeth is even a problem, let alone walking out of the room. People suffering from mental health disorders and other related conditions are predisposed to depression. This is mainly because of their tendencies to withdraw completely from everyone else and keep to themselves. Without deliberate attempts to reach out to them in their world and offer help and support, they risk moving from bad to worse. And that is why the World Health Organization 
is heavy on quality rights in mental health care delivery. He is the head of the World Health Organization's Quality Rights Initiative in Ghana. So um, we realized that um, human rights violations and poor quality of care and support for people with mental health conditions, um, which includes um, psychosocial and intellectual disabilities, um, has been well documented um, in reports um, such as the Human Rights Watch and several others. And these violations are actually occurring in mental health um, services, um, in faith-based settings such as the prayer camps and such, and generally in communities. And so based on this premise, and in response to this growing consent, the WHO developed the Quality Rights Initiative. Those were excerpts of our latest hotline documentary, Mind Matters. The full documentary is later this evening at 8.30 p.m. on the Jaw News Channel. That is DSTV 41, GoTV144, also on our Facebook and our YouTube page. We are Jaw News on TV. You're still watching Jaw News Desk. I'm going to take a quick breather for business. Thank you.